Good morning. This is the community meeting for John T. White Road and Williams Road Water and Sewer Improvement Project. And this is the agenda for this meeting. I am going to provide you project team introduction, project overview. I'll show you the project area. We'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions, and then we'll discuss the project timeline. My name is Pratima Paudial, and I'm the project manager for this project, and I am with City of Fort Worth Water Department. My phone number is 817-392-6149, and email is pratima.paudial at fortworthtexas.gov. Brian McDonald is the city, uh, city's inspector for this project. He is with Transportation and Public Works Department. His phone number is 682-319. 5315, and his email is byron.mcdonald at texas.gov. Jackson Construction is the contractor for this project, and Steve Gladingning uh, is the representative from Jackson Contractors. a and Consultant is the engineers who designed this project, and Alex Soro is the project manager for, uh, from a and &E. Now, project overview, existing water and center sewer lines will be replaced in the area bound by John T. White Road to the north, Blue Carriers Lake to the east, Anderson Boulevard to the south, and Williams Road to the west. This Fort Worth Water Capital Improvement Project is in Fort Worth Council District 5. Some of the landmarks in the area of the project, John T. White Elementary School, Fort Worth Five Station Number Seven, East Sam Cemetery, Historic Six Acre Community Cemetery, uh, Cobblestone Trail Park. Now the project areas. The black lines you can see here are the streets where we are going to replace water and sewer line. The first one is Williams Road. We are going to replace both water and sewer on the Williams Road. And the limits of replacement is from Anderson Boulevard to John T. White Road. On this road, uh, there is no sewer on the northern section of it, so we are going to um, install the new sewer line on the northern section. On the John T. White Road, we are going to replace both water and sewer line, and the limits of replacement is from Sandy Lane to Blake, Blue Carriers Lane. This construction will impact John T. White Neighborhood Association as well as Historic Randall's Mill Valley Alliance. Now we'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions. The first one is why are we doing this project? City of Fort Worth prioritizes replacing of the water and sewer lines which have high risk of failure. How we determine high risk of failure? It is based on several available data such as water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection data for the sewer line, age of the line, line material, if the line has lead services or not, and if the line is the cast iron line or not. Which priority, priority is specific to this project? This project has created as a part of water cast iron type initiative to reduce the amount of water main breaks. The water line in the Williams Road is a cast iron line. Fort Worth Water Management has committed to replacing a minimum of 20 miles of water cast iron pipes every year. Currently, there are approximately 100 miles of cast iron mains at various stages of this design for the replacement in the fiscal year of 2023 and beyond. Will there be lane closer during the construction? One, traffic lane will be closed when the lines are replaced and the trench is being repaired. There will be signs posted to alert the motorist. What are the construction hours? The construction hours are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday, and sometimes the contractor will have to work over the weekend, and they will have to request it beforehand and get approval from the city to work over the weekend. And if approved, the working hours for the weekend will be from 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on the on Saturdays. There will not be any construction on Sundays. Contractor will also not work on city holidays. 
Um, there are nine city holidays which include the following. Thanksgiving, day after Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Memorial Day, Juneteenth, Independence Day, and the Labor Day. Will you need access to our property? This construction is in the public right of way and uh, in the public uh, in the utility easement. If Fort Worth Water need access to your property, we'll contact you beforehand. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be disrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. Sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if there is a backup or a blockage. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take a picture, uh, will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and videos with a date stamp of their property prior to construction. Damages resulting from the contractor's activities during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the construction affect my irrigation system? The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler head can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation system if they were damaged as a result of the construction. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when the service is transferred from the existing water line to the temporary water line. And then again, when the service is transferred, uh, transferred from the temporary water line to the newly installed line. These switchovers are done during the, day, during the daytime. The contractor will knock on the door and let the customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from being stringent in the above ground line. During the winter months, the water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should, be, should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water uses while you are on the temporary line is based on an average of previous month's usage. Will we have access to our driveways during construction? The city inspector and the contractor will work with the businesses and the residents that need driveway access during active construction hours. Again, the active construction hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if approved, uh, 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and the recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. If you see water running down the street, do not turn it off. Before we can connect your services to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from flushing the line will be continuous until the inspector gets the samples for that day. You will be connected to the new water line only after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it is time to sample the water flowing from, uh, through the new water line, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Don't move the cone. Don't park over the cones and don't turn off the water valve. How will we know construction is starting? If you live in, uh, in the area impacted by the construction, keep an eye for, uh, on your front door for the door hanger from City of Fort Worth. You will receive two door hangers. The first one says construction starts in seven days and it looks like this. The second one says construction starts tomorrow and it looks like this. The inspector will also 
include his her business card and the contact information with the door hanger. Now the timeline of this uh, project, the construction will start on November 6, 2023, and we are projecting uh, this uh, project will be complete in fall of 2024. The contractor will start first on Williams Road. Generally, the sewer main will be installed first, and then the water main will be installed uh, if the street is getting both water and sewer replaced. The streets will be repaved with asphalt after the water and sewer lines replacement. If you are interested to get more information about this project, you can go to the page www.phototexas.gov and type the project number 103381-1. And if you go to the bottom of the page, um, um, you can click and subscribe to this page to get more updates about this project. The project map, project summary, frequently asked questions, and the PowerPoint will be linked to this project page as well. If you have any emergency or non-emergency issues related to water and sewer, you can call the number 817-392-4477 and select option number one for the emergency issue, which is a 24-hour service. If you have non-emergency issue, then you can call the same number. Uh, it is 7 uh, a.m. to 7 p.m. from Monday through Friday, and it is closed over the city holidays. You can also download my FW app from the App Store or Google Play. Um, you can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leaks, water theft, water violation, no water services, water pressure issues, and any other water sewer related issues through the app as well. Again, my name is Pratima Paurel and I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149. Email is pratima.paurel at phototexas.gov. Byron McDonald is the city project, man, um, project inspector for this project. His phone number is 682-319-5315. Email is byron.mcdonald at phototexas.gov. With that, this presentation is complete. Thank you.